Namaste. I am Vasant, Dronier since 9 years. My farm is middle of Western Ghats of Karnataka in India. My family grows areconet, which is a tall tree of 80 to 100 feet, requires a fungicide spray during 3 months long monsoon. Someone climbs slippery um, 650 to 800 t- trees in an acre and spray to each bunches which used to be around 450 to 750 liters, highest chances of falling in the rain. We wanted to find a way out. Drones at that time were mostly used in military, which were fixed wing. Our director Sumanth was keen to use a hot air balloon or helium balloons with the capsule instead of climbing because we will have to climb again during the harvest. Back then, Yamaha Armax was used in Japan for spraying rice. All we wanted to do was lift little chemical and spray on crop to even assess its effectiveness. Looking at the cost to build, we were very clear it has to be a paper usage farm in a gate service. When we looked over, Yamaha said it would cost around $100,000. Uh, but not keen to sell the unit. Apart from them, only other firm doing spraying a drone was TTA Beijing from China with 15 and a 20 liter uh, carry capacity. Again, the cost was upward of 25,000 US dollar. MMC UAV, a Chinese firm, used a 10 kg payload drone that was used for electric line stringing operations, which made us to procure one unit with a 10 liter spray tank and changing flight controller and our first crop spraying model born. We were trying to do 80 liter an acre compared to traditional 650 plus liters. No one believed it would be any sufficient. We were laughed at. We took three days to do an acre and controlled fungi attack for 55 days. Was our first successful step even though no one believed the next spray was 46 liter thus bringing finally at uh, 24 liter an acre of arecana in first year by then dzca put a notice of blanket ban on drone usage in india by civilians we had an uphill battle to face